Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the last video of 2023. Today I am going to be filming a complete photo card collection flip through. I'm really excited, kind of nervous to film this just because I have so much stuff. I have so much stuff and we're gonna look through all of it today, but I'm excited to see how my collections have changed from a year ago or even six months ago to now because I feel like my collection has definitely changed a lot this past year. So I'm excited to kind of flip through and just see how far I've come in some collections and how things have changed. I think the way I'm gonna organize this is by group, so I won't go by binder size or anything. It will be by group and there will be timestamps in this video if you would like to skip around so definitely feel free to do that another thing i just want to add very quickly is that in the description box below i'm going to be linking some of my favorite content creators that i've been watching throughout 2023 i thought it would be nice for me to just like kind of shout out some of my favorite content creators k-pop collecting youtube has kind of exploded these past two years i feel like in 2022 and 2023 there's been a huge influx of content creators which is so amazing and i love watching k-pop collector content it's like my favorite thing to watch for me i'm like mostly a silent watcher i don't really comment on a lot of people's videos because i'm usually doing something else while i watch and i just kind of let my like watch later playlist play through so i don't really leave comments super often so yeah i've listed a handful of my favorite content creators definitely not all i watch a ton of k-pop collector <laughs> youtube content so these are definitely not all of my favorites but there's some and i think i'll try to start doing this a little bit more often kind of shouting out some of my favorite channels that i've been watching lately so yeah definitely check out my description box if you are looking for some new recommendations i mean i feel like if you watch me you probably watch the majority of the people that i'm listing in the description box but on the off chance you don't watch them and you're looking for some new creators definitely check them out again i'll have all the channels linked down below and yeah i'll try to do that more often in my videos because i think that's super fun and there's so many great content creators out there now that i really enjoy watching so i just wanted to share that and yeah okay i think that's all i wanted to say it was a lot of rambling but yeah let's just get started into the collection flip through because this video is going to be so long and i have to edit and upload today so let's get going okay i'm going to start with my stacy binder and i also really quick just want to preface any supplies that i use are linked down below anything at all that i use in my binders will be linked so please feel free to check out the links in the description box they will guide you to where i buy most things especially these like a5 binders i know i get a lot of questions this is a luca lab a5 binder with the glitter cover i bought this directly from luca lab site and shipped it to my korean address so that is how i got this but yeah just wanted to throw that out there all of my supplies are linked down below for your benefit for your benefit and my benefit so i know when i need to rebuy things where to go so yeah just wanted to throw that out there before we get started but yes, for Stacey, I collect Suman. I have been standing Stacey since debut. Suman has always been my bias. And I started collecting them right after um, their first single album came out. So I have all of Suman's Korean album photo cards. This is the latest era Team Fresh. Probably some of my favorite photo cards. I loved Blonde Suman. I think she looks so amazing as a blonde. Yes. And then these are some US exclusives. So I'm not gonna point out like album photo cards, but I will try and point out like non-album photo cards and where they're from. So this page is entirely US exclusives. So this card is the US exclusive card. So you got this in every album that you bought from a US retailer basically. This is her Hello82 exclusive, her Target exclusive, and her pop-up exclusive photo card. And the backs are just too cute. Oh, I loved everything about Team Fresh Era, honestly. And then back here we have some of her pre-order benefits. I used to collect Zoom In really, really thoroughly for pre-order benefits, but I dropped that collection probably a few months ago now. So this is what I decided to keep. We have the MMT photo card from ASAP. This is, I believe, a Make Star round from Stereotype. This is Make Star, probably around like three or four from younglove.com. And this is a With Drama card from younglove.com. These two are so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. 
back when with moo was called with drama that's how long ago that was and then these two i think it says on the back yeah so this is an everline round and a with moo round from we need love and these are two everline lucky draws from teddy bear era and for Teen Fresh, I haven't gotten my pobs in yet, but I do have her Barnes & Noble exclusive on this page. I wasn't able to like fit it into the layout in this binder. So yeah, it just lives here for now, but I will have at least one or two pobs to add to this soon. So yeah, that was my Suman collection. Really proud of this collection. Stacy makes some of my favorite music and yeah, I'm really excited for a comeback from them. I know they've been on tour for a pretty long time. So I feel like we're kind of due for new Stacy music, but I also feel like they need to rest. So I don't know. I feel like that's always the case with a lot of the groups that we stand, right? Like we want new music from them, but they're also working so hard all the time. So we want them to rest, but yeah, that was it for Suman. Next we can do my 80s binder. This is again, another Luca Lab A5 binder with the glitter cover. So for 80s, this collection is a little weird. This is a selective collection. I don't have a lot of these <laughs> selective collections in my overall collection. I'm a, for the most part, a very thorough completionist collector, but with ATs, I just recently started getting into them last year and their photo cards situation always overwhelmed me and it really kept me from diving in and collecting. But over this past year, especially, I feel like I've gotten more and more into them. So yes, I don't collect everything for ATs. I just collect from where I started like really standing and then I've been moving forward from there. And what I collect changes from era to era. So there really is no rhyme or reason for this collection, which goes against like everything in my brain, but I actually really love this collection. So I do store ATs in reverse chronological order. So the newest era is first. I actually can't remember what this era is called like officially but this is like crazy form era so for this era i am collecting you know for all of his album photo cards so that's what this page is and then i am also selectively collecting yo song for some things so for the z version i'll collect yo song as well as you know this is the hello 82 distribution set and the us exclusive set the digipack cards and the hello 82 exclusive photo cards oh what cute photo cards i'm so glad that i have them and then for the Target exclusive photo cards, I'm collecting four members just because I really love these photo cards. So um, my bias line in 80s is Yuno and Yosong and then the rest of the group, so yeah. And then for last era, I collected just four of Yuno's photo cards. These are four of my favorites of his. I have made the decision that I would like to collect Yosong for everything that I've collected Yuno for so far. So yeah, hopefully I can work on that in 2024. And then for spinoff, I did already kind of set up to collect you a song because I think I have one or two cards coming in trades. So that is exciting. And then we have this page. And I pulled this, you know, postcard from one of my albums. So yeah, I also think I'm trading for his e version postcard. So that will go here as well. But yeah, that was it for ATs. A small collection, but it's already like a lot of pages in here since I, I only really collect for three eras so kind of intense but yeah I've really really enjoyed getting into 80s more this year I know I'm late but I got here that's all that matters right and yeah I just I really enjoy collecting them and I really do hope that I'm able to see them on tour next year that is a huge huge goal of mine so yay next we can do my zero base one collection this is a prism platinum binder I have them in. This is a new binder that I just recently added to my collection. So for Zero Base One, this is my newest collection and it's one that I'm really excited about. I do collect Matthew. He is my bias in Zero Base One. He left me with no choice and he's just so precious. I love him so much and I love collecting him. His cards are so cute. So yes, for album photo cards, I collect Matthew. And for the Digipack photo cards, I just recently decided to collect four members for the digipacks so that is what this setup is i'm collecting jiung hanbin and hao and i feel like someone corrected me <laughs> the other day that hao is older than hanbin so let me fix that real quick my bad i thought i fixed that i don't know we're in the twilight zone i feel like but yes, this is the setup for Melting Point. I have no Matthew cards for Melting Point. Um, I did recently secure his lenticular, but that is literally it. None of my group orders pulled Matthew, so please trade with me. And then yeah, oh yeah, see, I did fix this. 
for the melting point digipack. Okay, whatever, no one cares. So yeah, the digipacks are set up for four members. I pulled this how photo card, so I just kept him. And yes, that is that. And then we get into pre-order benefits. I don't fully collect Matthew for pre-order benefits. There's there's a lot of pops for Zero Base One. I just try to get what I like. I am trying to curate this a little bit more. I think I'm gonna work on making a template for his pops that I wanna get because yeah, I want this to be a collection of pre-order benefit and fan sign cards that I like absolutely love, not just random ones that I get because I find them for cheap. So yeah, that's definitely something I will work on in the new year is kind of curating this collection a little bit more, but yeah. I have so many pops on the way for Melting Point. I have not even bothered to set it up yet because it's just way too much. But this right here are his FanCon trading pack photo cards. I did buy his full set because I thought they were so cute. And then this card is the random photo card you got if you bought the necklace. I just bought the necklace secondhand and it came with Matthew's photo card. So that's so why I have that. This section is just extra photo cards of members I don't collect that I want to keep. So I have one Hanbin and one Hao. And lastly, I have Matthew's Digipack postcard from Youth in the Shade, as well as the group postcard from the fairytale version of Melting Point. I'm trading for his fairytale version photo card as well. I don't know if I'll collect his other postcards from Melting Point. I didn't buy those versions of the album, so it's not a huge prio for me. But yeah, that was it for Matthew. Really excited to work on this collection in 2024. I think ZB1 is going to be very, very active next year, and I'm excited to be along for the ride. They have just slowly become one of my favorite groups. Their music is just so amazing, and it's been so fun watching them debut and go through the motions of becoming a group. Like, it's just been so fun. Next up, we can do my girl groups binder. Well, girl groups minus Stacy. Okay, so the first group I have in here is Espa, and I collect Ning Ning for Espa, all of her Korean album photo cards. So we have Savage, Girls, My World, and on this page, this is her Target exclusive photo card, and this is her Amazon exclusive photo card. And then I have set up for drama. I have not started working on drama. This will definitely be a 2024 project for sure. And that's it. Surprisingly, Espa does not have a ton of photo cards. Like, I know I don't collect everything for her. Like, I could collect her US exclusives, and that would be a lot more stressful. But yeah, just for Korean album photo cards, I feel like they don't have that many, which seems odd to me, but you know, I'm not complaining. The next group in here is Itzy, and for Itzy, I collect Rujin. Rujin is the first female idol I ever decided to collect. I've been standing Itzy since debut, and I started collecting Rujin during Not Shy era, so I'm really proud of this collection. simpler times when eras used to fit on one page. Uh, Crazy in Love is where they really took off with like the limited edition and everything. Oh goodness. Checkmate. Cheshire. Two full pages for Cheshire. Oh my goodness. So wild. And then the latest era, Kill My Doubt. I'm still missing her special edition selfie photo card, the companion card to this Polaroid. Hopefully I can get that next year. It's just been way too overpriced for me to even consider buying right now. So yeah, hopefully I can get my hands on that next year. And then we have the Digipack inclusions from Kill My Doubt here. And Itzy are making a comeback in just a few days now, like a little over a week. So I'm excited to see what they have in store. I'm so sad Leah won't be a part of the comeback, but the music video teaser for Mr. Vampire looks amazing. I am so excited to see the visuals and everything. And the song sounds really good. So fingers crossed, we have a hit on our hands. I'm really, really excited for it, of course. And the last group in here is Red Velvet. For Red Velvet, I do collect Yeti, all of her Korean album photo cards. This collection is pretty straightforward. And this is their latest era, Chill Kill. I don't have a lot of progress. I think I have one more package version card coming, but the rest I will need to work on in the new year once I open up another Makari Japan package probably. But yeah, not too much progress so far. 
And then we have the other members from the bag version sets. I was lucky to pull both in my albums, so yes. And on the back, I have Yeti's Apple Music pre-order benefit as well. But that was it for this binder. I love my girl groups. These collections are just, they're very chill. I feel like none of these collections are super um, high demanding for me to collect. So I really do enjoy working on them in my own time at my own pace. So yeah love this binder. Okay, next we're going to do my large inclusions binder. This has things for both NC227 and 17 in it, and since those are the only two groups I have left to show, I figured it would make sense to do this binder now. So on the front here, I just have Jaehyun's binder index from Resonance Part 2, and the first page is all of his photo card sized inclusions that aren't like selfies, so like his circle cards, stickers, all the random inclusions that you get in SM albums basically. And then we get into my 127 non-album, non-selfie photo card sets. So this is their fan con set from this year. So gorgeous. I love these cards so much. And then we have the Nemo version photo card sets from Two Baddies. The Mumo pre-order photo card set for Ao. And then this is the Soundwave fan sign set for AO. And this is a set that I haven't really had time to work on this year, but this is a trading card pack set that I'd like to work on for OT9. It's um, all of them are holding up like their respective member number order. So Tails holding a one, say Johnny has two, Taeyong has three. So yeah, I would like to work on this in 2024, but it's just not a big priority. 127 was super active, thankfully, in the last half of the year, so I just, I did not get a chance to work on this, but hopefully next year. And these are the yearbook cards from Golden Age and the transportation cards. Then we have the QR Polaroids from Fact Check and the photo card set. And this is the Mumo pre-order photo card set from Fact Check. In terms of adding to this section, I'm hoping to get the pre-order benefit set from Mumo for Be There For Me, but I don't really know what else I want to get for this era. Hopefully I can find some cheap sets on Mercari Japan, because yeah, I do love a good OT9 set every once in a while, it just makes my heart warm, but yeah, that was it for the photo card size inclusions. Next we get into large inclusions for NCT 127. I do collect Jaehyun for everything, or at least I try to, so yes. Not everything in here is like an album inclusion, so this is a merch postcard that I just stuck in here. And this is not necessarily in era order, I just try to maximize space in here and stick things wherever they will fit. These two Polaroids were benefit inclusions from sticker and favorite, so they are not album inclusions. This is Jaehyun's Deluxe Box postcard, one of my favorite inclusions ever. And these two postcards are also merch postcards um, that I received. They both came with the holographic photo cards. This AO postcard came with the FanCon photo card set that I showed previously. This Doje Jump postcard came with the postcard book merch item. And yeah, that is it for large inclusions for 127. And then we get into 17. So for a really long time, I collected large inclusions fully for Escoops and Mingyu. I have since stopped doing that and I'm actually thinking about selling this entire collection. So if you need Escoops or Mingyu large inclusions, <laughs> hit me up, I'm your girl. Cause yeah, I just, I don't collect large inclusions for 17 anymore. I don't buy as many albums as I used to for them and it's just not something that brings me joy. So yeah, I know someone else would probably really love to have some of these large inclusions. So I'm probably just gonna end up letting them go in the new year. But in this first page, we have their Weaver Shop Lenticular pre-order benefits from Semicolon. And then just a bunch of album inclusions. I'll probably keep a few things. Like I really love the Your Choice postcards, so I might keep a few things, but for the most part, I'm probably gonna let a majority of these things go. 
like the face the sun postcards oh my god 10 postcards per member is just evil and the fact that i was insane enough to collect for two members just out of control um this lenticular was a pre-order benefit from weaver shop for face the sun some busok sin stuff as well like just the amount of large inclusions that 17 has is kind of crazy but it was really fun to collect them when i did but now i just i don't find it fun anymore so yeah like as you can see for 17th heaven i have not even attempted to collect these for the scoops of mingyu i just happened to pull these and then i never finished fml granted i'm only missing one bookmark i think i'm just missing this scoops but again i just don't feel like getting it so yeah and yeah this postcard was a pre-order benefit from weaver shop as well for fml but yeah that is it for this binder next we can get into my 17 album photo card binder okay so for 17 i do collect scoops and mingyu i've collected both of them since I started collecting 17, I have never only collected one member of 17. It has always been Escoops and Mingyu, and it always will be Escoops and Mingyu. I am firmly double biased in this group. I could never pick between the two of them. And I do collect 17 starting from You Made My Day moving forward. I don't back collect for them, and I do not plan on back collecting for them. So, yes, we start off with You Made My Day. Did I say You Made My Day? It's you make my day and then you made my dawn <laughs> we get into an ode the monster that is an ode oh this page is so beautiful i love it so much then we have hengare this was my first korean comeback with 17 i started standing during fallen flower era which is one of my favorite 17 title track, 17 eras of all time is Fallen Flower. But yeah, Hengare was my first Korean comeback where I was like buying albums and actively participating as a carrot. I would say I started getting into 17 during an ode, but yeah, Hengare was the first era that I was like fully standing. We have semicolon, simpler times, your choice, my favorite, favorite era. Uh, love her so much. Taka. So on this page, I incorporated their Target exclusive photo cards just to make it into a seven layout. So I have both of their Target photo cards and the carrot version cards. And then Face the Sun. Oh my god, this era. What an era for photo card collecting. This was such a struggle, especially these cards. Oh my god, this Ming Yu. This Ming Yu, this Ming Yu. Oh, I was fighting for my life trying to get those photo cards. <laughs> Carrot version. And then we have the Weaver sets for them, just the selfies, not the QR cards. And then that transitions into Sector 17 with the Weaver sets for them there. And then we get into Sector 17 album photo cards. And the next area for 17 was Busok Soon, and I decided to collect DK. I did used to collect DK fully for 17 album photo cards, but I did drop his collection earlier this year. But I had to collect him for Busok Soon. There was no other choice. And then I also have a Bunana on the back because I will never get rid of this photo card. Then we move into FML. Carrot version. And then we have the latest comeback, 17th Heaven. S Coops is complete. Still working on Mingyu. Just need a few more cards to finish him up. On this page, these two are their Target exclusive photo cards and then the Weaver sets here. So yeah, that is it for Korean album photo cards. In this next section, I have some miscellaneous stuff that doesn't like fit in this section. So I used to collect S Coops and Mingyu 
pretty thoroughly for Japanese photo cards. I have since dropped that collection completely and this is all I have left. I just have their Fallen Flower selfies. Like I said before, Fallen Flower was my first era as a carrot, so it holds a very special meaning to me. I love that song so much. I love everything about that era for them. So I have all of their selfie photo cards and a few of these were gifted to me so I will never ever part with them and then I have this Mingyu HMB which was also a gift so he lives on the back there and then we have some of their Target exclusive photo cards where I can I incorporate the Target cards in with the album photo cards but if it just doesn't work out I just put them on their own page like this so we have Face the Sun, Sector 17, and FML and we have the QR code photo cards from the Weavers versions of Face the Sun, Sector 17, and FML. And then in the very back here, I allow myself to have one miscellaneous page per member. So these are miscellaneous pre-order benefits, fan sign photo cards for S Coops. And then this is Mingyu's page. Some of them correlate, some of them don't. This is really just a dump page, and if I ever want to add a card to this section, I do have to take one away in order to fit it. That is my rule for a non-album for 17. So yeah, I haven't added to this in a long time because each time I think about it, I'm like, but what card would I get rid of? I love all of these cards. So yeah, that was it for 17. I do think I'm gonna be making some major, major, major changes to this collection in the new year. I'm not ready to fully commit to it yet, but I am pretty much set on it, so I might do a video about it when I actually decide to do it, but yeah. I don't know when that will be because it's a huge undertaking and a huge commitment to do it, and I don't know if I'm like 85% there in making the decision, so we shall see. But yes, that was it for 17. All right, and the last group we have today is NCT. They are by far my largest collection. I do ult NCT 127, they are my ult of ults, and I collect a ton for them, but we are going to start with NCT Dream. For NCT Dream, I do collect Mahe, Mark, and Hechan because they're my biases. So yeah, these first few pages are a little sad for the earlier eras. I really have not devoted a lot of time to working on this. I hopefully will in the new year. I really just need to look for the cards. I keep waiting around hoping that people will offer me like cross trades, but these cards are really old and some of them are kind of expensive. So I feel like I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and start buying them. So yeah, hopefully progress on this part of the binder in the new year. The rest of the binder is not as sad as that. So yeah, starting from hot sauce, we, we start to see some completed pages, which is great. Hello Future. Uh, I am trying to collect the Kinos for Hello Future, so we'll see how that goes. Glitch mode. Beatbox. Candy. The fact that Candy was a year ago, wow, time is not real. Then ISTJ. So many photo cards for ISTJ, kind of insane. And I did collect all of the vending machine units. And I just have an extra page here. I feel like when I saw the announcement that Dream is gonna be coming back in the beginning of the year, I just like automatically put a page in. This is not going to be enough <laughs> for whatever Dream has in store for us. I'm probably gonna need like 10 pages to collect the next comeback, but yeah, that was it for album cards. Next we move into my kind of like non-album section. I don't collect too much for Mark and Hei Chan in terms of non-album um, because I collect Jaehyun so thoroughly, but I do try and get a few pods here and there. So for Mark, who is like my main bias, I try to collect his Make Star pre-order benefit card for each era. So I have the Candy Hollow pre-order benefit and the ISTJ Hollow pre-order benefit and I will be getting his ISTJ KM Station POB, and I have his Mumo POB as well from ISTJ. And on this page, I just have his InterAsia POB for fact check because this card is so cute, I had to have it. For Heichen, it's definitely a lot sadder because I don't go out of my way to get his POBs, but I do have his K-Town For You pre-order benefit and his Mumo pre-order benefit from ISTJ. And then I ended up pulling both of Heichan's little printed photo things for ISD Day, so I just put them in here, because why not? 
And in the way, way back, I have some miscellaneous 127 photo cards. I was at one point trying to back collect Mark for whatever reason, but I kind of gave up on that. I still have the fillers in the back here for the cards that I'm missing, but it's just not something that I want to prioritize right now. I have so many other things to collect for NCT that, yeah, I basically paused on his 127 cards. Maybe one day I'll go back to it if I have a break in NCT releases, but NCT just never stops. There's always something new to collect. There's like always a new era, which I'm so eternally grateful for, but it's also like, it doesn't really give me a chance to like work on older eras like this or like side projects. So yeah. And then in this last page, I just have a few miscellaneous cards from the US exclusives from Fact Check. Didn't really know where else to put these. So they just ended up here. So we have Yuta's Walmart exclusive photo card, Do Young's D2C photo card, and then Jungwoo and Mark's Indie exclusive photo cards. So yeah, they just live back here for now. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them exactly, but they're safe back here. But yeah, that was it for the Dream Binder. Binder's getting kind of full. Did put a backboard in this binder, which is lifting up the pages a bit, which is good because the pages won't be dented by the rings, but I think it is also making it appear a bit more full than it actually is. So hopefully we can squeeze the new dream era in here because I really don't want to move my head out of this binder. I love this binder for them. I just think it fits them so well. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Next we have my Jaehyun binder. So this is a Prism Platinum Deluxe binder. This is the green float binder. I love this. I love the dainty little butterflies. I think this binder is beautiful. But yes, so this binder holds all of my Jaehyun non-album photo cards. So all Parader Benefits, all fan sign photo cards, all non-album merch stuff. Everything lives in here. So yeah, it's a lot. But Jaehyun is my ult of ults of ults of ults. Like he is my number one priority. Uh, when it comes to collecting so yes i do prioritize this collection above most others i do apologize in advance for these like earlier eras i really do not know where these cards are from so i'm really really sorry um hopefully there's a template out there that can tell you where they are from if you want to know but yes we start with the pre-order benefit and fan sign photo cards this first page is all sticker era photo cards i'm hoping to get my hands on his deluxe box photo card at some point so that it can go here so that's why there's an empty slot more sticker stuff then we move into favorite and two baddies starts here so i do know a few of these so these two are actually album photo cards but they fit the flow of this binder so well that i just decided to keep them in here with his pre-order benefits so these are the nemo version selfie photo cards and then these cards flow into all of his exclusive photo cards they did a ton of exclusives for two baddies era there were korean international and japanese exclusives for both the photo book and digipack exclusive so these are all of his cards for those and then this card is a deluxe box photo card i do have aspirations to get his other deluxe box photo card from two baddies but it looks scarily like three of his album photo cards so I'm really picky about the price that I'm willing to pay for this one so that's why I haven't gotten it yet but then we start into the pobs and fan sign photo cards for two baddies I know these three are lucky draws so yes or not this one these three yeah these three are lucky draws but the rest I honestly don't know I'm so sorry and then starting here we move into AO more pobs, more lucky draws. And then we get into perfume, which is where they really started going crazy with pre-order benefits and fan sign photo cards. But this is honestly one of my favorite releases of the year, if not my favorite release of the year. So I was so excited and happy to collect for Jaehyun this era. And I love all of these cards so, so much. I do not have everything. This is definitely a collection that I want to expand upon Hopefully in 2024, we'll see how busy NCT keeps me, but I do really hope that I can expand on this in the future because I just, I love this era so much and I want everything. <laughs> then we move on to Golden Age. Again, I'm so sorry. All of these cards just kind of mixed together, especially for Golden Age. I really wasn't paying too much attention to these cards. 
I just joined a group order and called it a day. So yeah, I am still waiting for that group order to ship out to me. So once I have those cards, I can kind of organize this a bit better because I have just been putting these cards in randomly um, until I get that group order in. So hopefully in the new year, this will make more sense, but yes. <laughs> Then we get into fact check. I should know where a majority of these cards are from because this is the most recent era. So on this page, we have his Walmart exclusive, his D2C exclusive, his Indie exclusive, and his Japanese exclusive photo card. Then we have fillers, a lot of fillers. Um, I did get a huge batch from my group order manager in for fact check. So my next storing photo cards video, I will have a ton to put away for this, which is really exciting. On this page, these two cards are his pop-up lucky draws. This card was a lucky draw if you spent a certain amount of money. I think it was either 30,000 or 50,000 won. You got the chance to get one of these lucky draws, so it's definitely a more like rare photo card, I guess you could say. And then this is his Shibuya lucky draw. And this is the K-Town For You video call. So yeah, I'm still waiting on a bunch of stuff, but again, I do have a bunch to put away in my next Soaring Photo Cards video, so that's super exciting. And I do have this set up for Be There For Me Pobs. I set this up in a few videos ago, so yeah. Very excited to get my hands on the Be There For Me cards. They are so cute. I cannot wait to have them. But yeah, that was it for Pobs and Fansign Photo Cards. This definitely takes up the bulk of this binder. NCT just continued to release more and more every era, so yeah. Next we have his merch photo cards, so trading card pack stuff, hollows, all of that good stuff lives in this section. So the first page here is dedicated to his hollow photo cards. This isn't something that I collect super seriously, I just kind of pick ones up that I like. So we have his sticker hollow, and these two are both from Two Baddies. This one is definitely my favorite, he looks so good. Um, and I will hopefully get the Be There For Me hollow if they decide to do one. I don't see why they wouldn't, but yeah, this is definitely a more casual collection. It's not super thorough. And then we get into the trading card pack stuff. So these three cards were random trading cards from Sticker Era. And then these two are from Two Baddies. There are so many Two Baddies random trading card photo cards. So yeah, that is definitely something I want to work on and that's kind of why I've separated this out so I have some space to grow this collection. And for AO, I just have two trading card pack photo cards so I did put some perfume cards as well on this page. And then we get into perfume. So these two are from the postcard book merchandise that they released. This card, probably one of my favorite Jaehan photo cards ever. I love it so much. And then we get into the random trading card packs so that's what the rest of this is. And then the random trading card um, pack unit photo cards. And this is my sad progress for fact check trading cards. I'm only missing three. So yeah, at least I have one of the selfies, but yeah, there's another selfie and two concept photo cards that I'm missing. So I will work on that in the new year. And then here is the start of my Kokomaz page. So this is the photo card you got if you purchased Jaehan's doll that he's holding. And I did purchase the doll. So I got the photo card and it also came with this membership card. And these two are random trading card packs from Kokomaz. Now on the back, I have his two photo cards from his random like action figurine thing. If you bought this figure, you got both of these photo cards. And so obviously I bought the little figurine and it's so cute. It lives on my shelf. I love it so much. And yeah, the cards are super cute. This section starts my Unity Tour merch. I was able to attend one of the Unity Tour concerts in Seoul in November over Thanksgiving weekend or American Thanksgiving weekend, I guess. So yeah, I am thoroughly collecting his merch cards for this concert. I normally would not do this, but because I went to the con and I saw the con, I need to collect every single photo card basically. So yes, this is just the start. I have a lot of the merch coming. It'll probably get to me in like February or March, I would assume, but this is everything that I bought at the concert itself. So I have his light strip strap photo card, his random trading card pack selfie, and then the fortune scratch card. And on the back, I have my other pulls from the trading card pack. So I pulled a Taeyong selfie and then a Doyoung, Jungwoo, and Haechan scratch card. This page is a dump page of just random cards that don't really have a home. So like some Sanrio stuff and then this Ever SM Town card. Yeah, every binder has to have a dump page. So that's what this is. 
And the last thing in this binder is his Diacon set from last year, I think. So yeah, just all of his photo cards. And that is it for this binder, a very full binder, full of random things, but I love them dearly. I love collecting Jaehyun. Even if all of his cards look the same, I don't care. I love him. He's the best. I think he is so, so, so talented. And yeah, I'm just, I'm really happy that I collect him as thoroughly as I do. It brings me a lot of joy. And you know what? Hopefully we'll be getting JJH1 in the new year. That is me manifesting. I'm gonna say it in every video until it comes true. JJH1 in 2024, it's happening. Okay, we have made it the last binder of the video, my 127 album photo card binder. This is my largest collection and I'm really excited to show it because it's probably the collection I love working on the most out of everything. So yeah. Okay, so in this first section we have Jaehyun's Korean album photo cards that I do not collect for OT9. So yeah, that's literally what everything is on this page except for this card. This card is the random tour photo card you got if you attended the concert in LA and New York and I I believe they did this for other stops but yeah I attended the the Link tour in LA as well as Atlanta but I got this in LA so yeah this doesn't fit in my other binder and I wanted this to be a seven layout so I just put it here I think it blends in fine but yeah then this page is a Kino page I am super proud of this page oh my goodness I never thought I would own these cards especially this card Oh goodness. And then we get to the full group NCT releases starting with Empathy and going into Resonance Part 1. Another Jaehyun photo card I never thought I would own, but I'm so happy that I do. Then Resonance Part 2 and Universe. This last page is all of his SMCU photo cards. So these three up top are from SMCU Express and then we have SMCU Palace. Still missing his membership ID for the Palace release, but I will get it someday. Okay, now we get into OT9 album photo cards. I collect OT9 from Superhuman moving forward. So yeah, I don't back collect any further than Superhuman for OT9 and I plan on keeping it that way. So yeah, this is the beginning. Superhuman, Neozone, what an iconic era, truly. Shaped me as a human being, actually. We have the final round. Sticker. This page is so amazing. It's so colorful. I love all of their outfits and everything. It's just such a fun set. Move into favorite. Yeah, this collection is crazy. I think I started collecting OT9 this year, right? And the progress I've made is absolutely insane. I was thinking about it the other day because someone commented on my video about how hard it was collecting NCT 127 during like 2020. So like around Neozone and they were are so right. NCT photo cards were so expensive back then. Like Jaehyun album photo cards were going for $20 each back during Neozone. It was absolutely ridiculous. But now, thankfully, NCT photo cards in general are pretty much very affordable. I'm sh like, you definitely get the one off card that's randomly $15 for no reason, but I feel like as a whole, the prices have gone down quite a bit. And I definitely would not be able to collect OT9 if that was not the case. This is the Target photo card set for Two Baddies, so I am collecting OT9 for the Target set. So yeah, I definitely would not be able to collect NCT at the level that I do if the cards were as expensive as they were three years ago. Ayo. Then I'm also collecting the Target set for Ayo as well. Then we get into golden age so this is where i have a bunch of gaps because we're getting into the more recent eras this is the only full group nct release that i'm collecting for ot9 just because i really love the cards and they're affordable again as i mentioned then we get into fact check
and this is the Target photo card set for fact check. And all of these blank pages are for Be There For Me, their latest release. I set this up again in an earlier video and I also just posted an unboxing for this album. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. But yes, next during photo cards video, I will have some progress for this. Probably not a ton, but I'll at least have my initial pulls from my unboxing. So yes, that was it for OT9 album photo cards. The last section in this binder is my unit and solo section. So for 127, if any member debuts in a subunit or debuts as a soloist, I do collect it fully. That is just a decision that I made. I love 127, so I will support them in all of their endeavors. And we start with Doje Jung. So I have all of the album cards complete. This Do Young photo card, oh my god, what a pain to get. That was like one of the cards. I feel like that's an example of a card that's randomly $15, $20 just because it's super cute. But yeah, we got him in the end. And then we have Taeyong Solo Shalala. I'm just missing these two album photo cards and then this will be done. So yeah, um, these are a few pops that I got. Um, I think this is Apple Music, Make Star, and Kate Town for You. I just got them to fill out the page. There are the backs. And yeah, that is it. That is my entire K-pop photo card collection. I have no idea how long I've been filming, but my throat feels like it's on fire because I've been talking for so long. But yeah, I really enjoyed flipping through this. It really made me appreciate my collections a lot. I don't sit down and flip through every single binder a ton like this. So yeah, this was really fun for me. I'm trying to think of a page to end on. See this page? It's kind of fun. But yes, thank you so, so much for watching. I'm really excited to see what 2024 brings this year. I think there's going to be a lot going on with NCT, a lot going on with a lot of my groups, actually. But NCT, no days off for an NCT collector, truly. And I'm really excited to see how my collections continue to grow and change next year. I'm sure my collection video that I'll put out in July and then again next December is gonna be completely different than what it is now. So yeah, I'm just excited. And again, thank you so much for watching. Happy, happy new year. Wishing you all nothing but the best in 2024. I hope you all are staying safe, staying healthy. And yeah, I will see you in another video in 2024 very soon. Bye.